Flow is a really difficult thing to define, but we all know what it's like when our swings feel fluid, they feel balanced, all the moving parts seem to be in sync, the contact on the ball is light, and we always seem to finish well balanced at the end. Things that are going to affect your sense of flow are in the main part um, tension and anxiety, and also over trying. So that's the physical tension of holding onto the club too tightly. That would certainly stiffen all your muscles and ruin the motion of the club. Also, the anxiety of worrying about where the ball's going. If you're too cautious in your swing, then you're going to end up prodding the ball down the fairway, and that's not a fluid and bold motion. What we don't want to be doing as well is giving ourselves too many things to think about in the swing. So if you're giving yourself lots of self-instruction, then you're not going to get that fluid and bold movement through the ball. So a really good way to encourage that movement is to do this exercise. So before I hit a shot on the course, I'll always have a practice swing, and this is generally what I'd be thinking about. I'm going to make one of those circular motions, not at the top stage like we've done in the drill, but actually at that second stage where the club is actually lower down and about knee height. When I make the swing, what I'm doing is I'm thinking about the wide flowing circle, but listening out for a really free flowing, swooshing motion of the club head. So to make that sound, I need to have a very light grip and I need to move in a bold and confident manner. So if you're tight, if you're overcautious, and you're trying too hard in your swing, then you're unlikely to get that fantastic feeling that is flow.